Hello everybody, Emperor Bubbles is here, and Total War League Season 9 is upon us once again. Today we have Parthia, who is the defending, reigning, four-time, undisputed Total War League Champion of the World. His titles go on and on and on. It is Hamilcar Barca playing with the strong Parthians. His deemed best faction in the game. He is going up against Saba, who is Tilla. Tilla faced him in the finals of season eight last season. So this is bound to be a magnificent battle. Here is Barca's build. He's got two Sarmatian horse archers on each flank, a center of Eastern cataphracts, make it four of them. Royal cataphract general, three Parthian foot archers with three Parthian swords and four hillmen. He's got Saba today, and look at the damage over here. I see two Sabians, I see three, I see four, I see five, and then a six. That's a lot of damage. Center of a Marib Camel Cataphract. Looks like some Slingers line the front line at least, at least five. He might have six or seven in there too. He can't quite see. Let's press play with some Sabian Swords. Looks like at least six of them as his center will start to open up. So horse archer advantage to Barca. We got seven and a half minutes on the clock. This is gonna hit hard. This is gonna hit mightily. As we see, look at this. Far left push with a contingent of Saba and a far right push, keeping the center as some units come to the fold. We just had a, a Total War League night tonight. Only one battle. Uh, we're nearly into the playoffs. We're probably gonna have to forfeit some uh, some of the blessed Fighters, they're just not playing their games. Guys, uh, if you are interested in joining Season 10, obviously, uh, not quite here yet, but uh, keep it on your radar. Season 10 coming probably middle of October, if I had to guess. End of October, potentially. But uh, check out the links in the description. I'll, I'll have it right in the, uh, in the beginning description area as the pressure is being applied by the Slingers. Let's count these Slingers. Uh, there's two, three, four, five, and six, but uh, they take up the whole map. As Barca just says, you know what, you can do that. I'm gonna keep my army together. Maybe, maybe Barca is thinking, okay, maybe I can hit a contingent here and there and there, and then I'm only fighting half his army. And then the rest of his army is long and gone. Still a severe slinger advantage to Saba, the Parthian foot archers. I never, I never knew that Barca would bring those. I thought he was always an Eastern slinger guy. I think the foot archers actually cost a little bit more too. So maybe he's having some funds left over as those Sarmatian horse archers. I guess you save money on the horse archers. These are the uh, least expensive horse archers. So there they go. They, they, you know, if they do take some pressure, they will rout. Uh, so definitely cannot get those guys in melee. Uh, but uh, if you're going to get them in melee here, I mean, it's the Sabian Camel Cataphracts. These guys will crush nearly any unit as they march upon the enemy. It's like Tilla wanting to uh, surround his opponent. Has some interesting movement here. Barca going way back. <laughs> That's surprising. That's actually very surprising. Going back to this little hill here. As I'm uh, a little bit stunned, I guess. I was expecting though maybe a central. I guess you don't. You can't really centrally push there. As Saba is right on your heels. But now uh, th this little hillside comes into play. Okay, you know, there's only so many melee for Barca, so not the biggest, not a big concern as you can see there. Okay, there, now we go. Now <laughs> we shifted back over. I always get nervous about hills. I love hills, praise be. Praise be indeed. But uh, Barca looking to stay perfect here. I think at the end of this video, um, we'll actually get a, give a flash of the stats, uh, of the standings, that is. Um see where we lie see where we're kind of finishing uh, there's still a lot of battles to commentate um well actually maybe maybe i won't show it just because there's so many battles left to commentate we don't want to get too ahead of ourselves uh youtube will be behind compared to the twitch so if you want to stay up to date guys follow that uh, twitch twitch.tv slash curve bubbles streaming total war wrong to at least three three to four times a week praise be but to income the horse archers putting the pressure on the sabians Finally is Parthia, as the pyramids in the background look upon, and there are the slingers. They've turned and they have shot. There's a clean volley on those cataphracts. Still, these two Sarmatians, wow, 25 kills. Not sure who they were shooting. Must have been one of the sword units. 
I don't think he was shooting a slinger. I'm just trying to find who he was shooting. Oh, he was. He was shooting this slinger. That's the bean, that slinger. Taking big damage. 25 dead there and 13 from this one. They like to see that. Those horse archers doing work against slingers. You know what? I mean, I often just kind of decline that battle. But Barca's micro is immense. There's some more shots being put upon. Three kills already. A couple more going down. It's now Barca pushing his men out wide to the right. Or you could say to Till's left, as the Sabian Camel Cataphract still shifting. You know, once these guys hit, they're going to hit hard. These trees definitely going to be playing it into effect here. Still the pressure being put on. Barker's got that horse archer advantage. He knows it. I believe he, he is definitely out calved. As there's only three minutes on the clock and we have not even had a melee engagement. But here's the first. This counts the Sarmatians into the Slingers. Trying to pick up a few kills. In come the Sabian Camel Cataphracts. As they are right on their tails. Catching those units would be huge for Tilla. He declines his engagement. This must be a forfeit. Somebody must get the upper hand here. I, I, I have a feeling I know who does. <laughs> I have a feeling everybody at home does. Uh, of course, it is the champion Hamilcar Barca. Wanted to keep his group play record perfect. He did lose a game last season. So this time it's personal. Here we go. Right in. That charge completely blocked. Completely blocked there. Hit with a strong pillum. As in come the Marib. And here comes a matching strike. Beam. With these units next in to fight, I'm sure we're here to have a big hit. In they march. Will they be caught by the men? Beam. Breach. The camels taking down their opponents, but it's that uh, Royal Cataphract who's very close as we reassess the battle. The Sabians just taking a pummeling from the Eastern Cataphracts and those Sarmatian Horse Archers. As Saba, no Axe Warriors for Saba. He wanted to bring more of the Shot Cav. As Tilla really needs a win here. I think Tilla's on the verge of not making the playoffs. Really needs to pick up a win. And picking up, up a win against uh, Helicar Barca, not going to be easy. Not going to be easy as, as all as those Parthen Foot Archers firing upon the general. You can see them target the general there. As it looks like a central win for uh, Parthia. Yeah, the Sabian Camel Cataphracts are doing still 30. As they shift their focus towards the Royal Cataphract. They are in, but look who's close. It's the Eastern Cataphracts. Barca says, not too fast. My general is precious to me. I need my general. As they are in. And the Marib taking a blow. 29 men and counting. See, there's only 40 seconds, so somebody must be unhappy. With how the battle is going. There's still a full sub. Well, it has to be in 30, 30 men there. But the Slingers now getting hit by the Sarmatians. Look at this. Oh, so what's going on here? Those Sarmatians picking up General and now picking up the melee of the Slingers. I think Tilla losing his morale there. His General being picked apart. Parthia now gaining some movement here. Looks like this one is going to be going to Barca as eats. Beanies. There was just—it was just so quick, so much happening. But again, what a pleasure by our champion to put on a showcase as he takes care of business, guys. There he does it again, defeating Tilla and Tilla dropping. I think that was his third loss. So four and three record for Tilla. This might—it's either moves Barker to six and zero or maybe to seven and zero. It's a seven-game season, and the top four move to the playoffs. But uh, let's see here. Look at those cataphracts for Barca. Putting in work in those Sarmatians. Picking apart the general. Only 71 kills for the Marib. And uh, combined, it's just it was just a complete shutdown. I mean, we saw that first charge. Um, and it wasn't on there immediately, but it just all happened so quick. And Barca completely dismantling his opponent. As Saba, not quite enough. His slingers, hey, you know, some decent kills here and there, but... Uh, we did see those Sarmatians find the backs of those men and were slaughtering them. But alas, brave fighters, this one's over. A uh, great showing by the champion. Once again, proving to us why he is the champion. Remember, guys, to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, glory be upon thee and glory to the Empire.